All right, guys, so let's practice selecting objects and let's add some materials. Let's create a beach ball. So to start a new Blender file, click File, New, and choose General. And you'll see your default cube. The first step is to delete this default cube. To delete in Blender, you can press Delete on your keyboard or X to delete and confirm. To add a new object you can click add mesh and we're going to go to a UV sphere. Okay. Now don't click on this UV sphere yet. You should note that the operator panel pops up down here. And we can change some geometry in the new object that we have put onto our blender. Um, this will go away as soon as you click anywhere so you need to make sure you do it right when it pops up. <clears throat> if you lose the operator panel, you'll need to delete your shape and then put a new one in. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it look more like a beach ball by reducing the number of segments to 16. So you can already see the segments are a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to change the number of rings to 18 to kind of smooth it out. And that's it. It looks more like a beach ball now. And now we can click out of it, and that operator panel is gone. So again, if you don't see the operator panel and you haven't done that, you'll need to delete this one and add a new one. So here we go. We're going to go into edit mode, and we can see all the different parts of our mesh object, including each little point, which is called a vertex. If I select two vertex points, the piece in between is called an edge. I'm holding shift, and if I select four vertex points, I've selected a face. So we have vertex, we have edges, and we have faces. Now, by default, You'll just select one vertex at a time. And we know that we can select all by pressing A. We can use box select by pressing B and circle select by pressing C. But it also makes it a little bit easier for you up here. If you go by edit mode and you choose this one, you're going to be cho choosing one vertex at a time. This one allows you to choose an edge at a time. And this one allows you to choose an entire face at a time. So choose this one. That way, whenever you click, it selects an entire face. Let's look at our selection tools again and review. To select all, you press A. To use box select, you press B. Circle select, you press C. And then there's a bunch more that we haven't looked at yet. For a circular object, like a UV sphere or a beach ball, we're going to select some loops. Okay, and the way to do that is to press Alt on your keyboard. So if you press ALT on your keyboard and click on one of these horizontal lines, it selects an entire loop. If you hold ALT on your keyboard and choose one of these vertical lines, it'll select a ring around your entire object. And if we want to apply materials to one particular loop or one particular ring, this is going to be the best way to select. A Alt on the keyboard and select. We could use circle tool by pressing C and using this little circle to paint the ones that we want but that gets a little tricky and then you have to orbit around and you have to find each little piece press C again get those two pieces um, right click to deselect come up here press C again so that's not the easiest way Box select is another selection tool that we have. So if I press B, well, that's going to be awkward because this is a round shape. That didn't work out too badly. But if I press B for box select, well, I'm, I'm ultimately I'm selecting stuff that I don't want to select. So press A for all and double click A to get rid of all. And let's use ALT on our keyboards. Alt, click, and let's select the entire ring. Perfect. 
Now let's learn about materials. If we come over here, come down to the little red circle, material properties. We're going to add a new material by pressing the plus sign and choosing new. You get all sorts of options including what color do you want it, what's the base color, um, what what reflection do you want on it, what subsurface do you want on it, do you want to make it shiny, um, do you want to change the roughness value, um, for a beach ball we can change the roughness value but we're not going to mess with any of this stuff right now, I want to keep it simple. So we're just going to assign a color, so go to the base color and let's just make a nice red color for our beach ball. You can make it darker or, or lighter by moving this little cursor here. So let's make it a bright red color. You can even double click on name and you can give it a title. You don't need to, but you can. So let's make a few colors that we're going to apply to our beach ball. So click the plus sign. Let's go new again. And let's go to the base color and let's make another color. How about green? I'm going to double click that and call that green. I'm going to add another color, new. Come down here to the base color and let's add blue. And I'll double click that and I'll call that blue. And maybe let's add one more color. Um, beach balls usually have white. So let's go new and let's click that and let's make it as bright as we can. So pull that all the way to the top. We'll make it a bright white. We'll call that white. Okay, now if I assign that white color, what's going to happen is it's going to make the entire shape white. Now, why don't I see the white? Because right now, we are looking at it in solid view, which doesn't show any of our shading or our materials or anything like that. So up here you'll see these different ways of looking at your shape. This is wireframe, this is solid, this is where it is by default, and this one right here is going to show your materials, your viewport shading. So if you click on that one, because I put the red color first and made the whole thing red, Okay, and then because I selected this one and I chose white and I clicked assign, I made that one white. So I'm going to press ALT on my keyboard again and select this one and let's make that one blue. Click on our boob color and click assign. I'll orbit around by my middle mouse wheel or you can use your gizmo. Press ALT on your keyboard, select that one and let's make that one green. Assign. I'm orbiting around, I'm pressing ALT on the keyboard, select this ring, and let's make it blue again. Assign. Now if you can't see your colors, if you roll your mouse wheel, oh no, I lost my colors. You can come back at any time and you'll be able to see your colors by rolling your mouse wheel. I kind of lost sight of mine for a minute there and panicked, but it's just because there's so many buttons that you have to be able to roll to be able to see them all. Okay, so I'm going to orbit around, press ALT, choose another ring, and let's make it another color. Let's go green again, assign. And you guys can make these whatever color you want. You don't have to follow my, my color scheme here. Um, so let's see, it goes blue, red, green, red, blue, red, green. So maybe this one should be blue. I'm holding ALT, ALT, let's make that blue. red and then this one should be green so press ALT green assign this one should be blue so I'm holding ALT blue assign and again you guys can make it whatever color you want blue red green so this one should be green green assign and then the top one I'm, I'd like to make this white at the top um, so I'm going to use my circle select tool for that so circle, and I'll just paint these, and then choose white, and assign. 
I'll use my circle select to get the bottom. Circle. White. Assign. Okay, so it kind of looks like a, a beach ball. And if you go back to object mode now, you'll be able to see what it looks like. And you can kind of still see the geometry of the, the segments and the rings. So what you can do now is you can go to object and you can shade it smooth. First click the object and go to object, shade smooth. Okay, now I'm not going to teach you how to render today. I want to keep it sort of simple. Um, hopefully you think it's simple so far. Go to Window, and let's just save a screenshot of your beach ball to turn in. Boom. Choose a folder where you want it to go. Put your name, call it beach ball, and save. And now you can go turn that in. So you have learned some, some practice methods of selection and how to apply a basic material.